Pregnant women are at greater risk for severe complications and even death from both seasonal and H1N1 influenza illnesses due to the immunologic, the physiologic, and the hormonal changes that occur in pregnancy. These alterations make the pregnant woman more susceptible and more severely affected by viruses such as H1N1. In fact, studies are demonstrating that pregnant women with H1N1 have a greater risk of serious illness as well as hospitalizations and death than the general population. If a nursing mother has H1N1 infection or flu-like symptoms, the CDC does recommend that she avoid direct breastfeeding contact with her infant. However, in the meantime, she can express or pump her milk and a non-ill family member can bottle feed the infant until mom's symptoms resolve. The H1N1 vaccine has been tested by the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases on pregnant women. Thus far, studies show that it is safe for use in pregnancy for both the pregnant mother and the unborn baby. And although many people may have concerns for thimerosal, there has been no data to show that it causes harm for pregnancy or for the unborn baby. Pregnant women should receive the killed or inactivated vaccine, which is in the injection form and generally given in the arm. The live attenuated or weakened virus vaccine, which is usually in the nasal form, is not recommended for use in pregnancy. However, it can be used for women who are breastfeeding and who may not have received their influenza vaccine during pregnancy. Contrary to many misconceptions, both the seasonal and the H1N1 vaccine can be administered during any trimester in pregnancy. From our experience with seasonal influenza, we know that passage of influenza virus through the placenta is rare and that we generally do not have infants that are born to mothers who had H1N1 who are also infected with the virus. We are assuming the same for H1N1 and we do not think that infants born to mothers who have H1N1 late in the third trimester will have this infection at the time of birth. Infants born to mothers with H1N1 or even influenza-like symptoms will require special nursery care as that that's deemed appropriate by the hospital guidelines. These include close monitoring for symptoms, isolation precautions, and even testing for the virus. Because the seasonal influenza and H1N1 flu are caused by different viruses, a pregnant woman will require separate vaccinations. However, these vaccinations can be administered on the same day, just at different injection sites. Additionally, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has deemed that one injection of H1N1 is sufficient for vaccination.